here's another vertical circle problem. Um, and we know the mass and the velocity and the radius. Um, and let's just see what devils up on this one, right? So it's a nine kilogram mass, right? And there it is, right? Let's have it go uh, four meters per second, right? Okay, so there it is. Okay, and then this this circle, the radius of that circle is uh, two meters. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is let's figure out the centripetal acceleration, right? So that's going to be v squared over r and four squared divided by two. Last I checked was 8.0 meters per second squared. Now, if you notice, that's less than 9.81, right? So that means at the top, it's actually, we actually, you know, it has to, that's why it's a rod, not a string, right? It's going to have to exert an, actually an upward force on that thing, right? Because if there weren't an upward force on it, it would, of course, accelerate down like something being dropped, right? So, um, yeah, okay. And then let's figure out the weight. We have to do the weight, and the weight is going to be uh, 9 times 9.81. I'm just using M times G, right? And 9 times 9.81, 88.29, okay? You can, so that's our, that's our force acting on the thing, right? That's the force of gravity, okay? And then uh, let's switch over to red. Don't you think red? Red's a good color. All right. So now uh, if you look at this thing, right, uh, the force of gravity is going to be acting down on this, right, of 88.29. We will coyly pretend that we don't know this force is actually upward. So we'll say, okay, unknown force, right? Don't know which way it is. Here, of course, we know the force is gonna be upward. It's always upward at the bottom, right? So here's our force, unknown force. We know gravity is down 88.29, right? Okay, and now we can figure this out at the top. And we're just using F equals MA is what we're doing, right? Okay, so all of the forces acting at the top are the unknown force minus gravity. Okay, and then that equals ma, so that's nine times. And then this acceleration at the at the top, you're actually accelerating toward the middle, which is down, right? So that's negative eight point zero, right? Okay, and then we can solve that nine times negative eight plus eighty-eight point two nine. You get sixteen point two nine. And the fact that this force is positive, okay means that that's an upward force, 0.29, okay? Okay, so, so you, you know, you gotta, you can't just say, well, gee, it's positive, so it could be upward, it could be down. It's, it's definitely upward because it's a positive number. It comes out of the calculator positive, right? And then if I go to the bottom, okay, the two forces acting on it are the unknown force, right? And then gravity is down, so 88.29, Right, and then that equals uh, nine times. And then here at the bottom, you're actually accelerating toward the center. Well, the center's above you, so that's a positive acceleration. Right, that's what makes the tension different. It's the only difference, right, between these guys is this the the, the direction of the acceleration. Right, so this is going to be nine times eight plus eighty-eight point two nine, and that's one hundred and sixty point two nine. So it's positive. 160.29, right? Now with sig figs, I guess we have to say 16 newtons up, right? And with this one, with, with two sig figs, we have to say uh, 160, no decimal point newtons up.